Okay. Yeah, do you want to, yeah, tell us about you. So my name is Neg on the podcast, but I am Nagin in real life. And I feel like I shortened Nagin because like it's so much easier for you guys to remember. <laughs> Like sometimes people take months memorizing my name. It's actually very funny. And the reason mm -hmm. why my name is so hard to remember is because it's Persian. Because uh, mm -hmm. my dad is Persian. So that kind of tells you a little bit more about my background. I was born in Paris uh, and lived there for like 12 years. And then I moved to Barcelona where I did my, um, you know, high school slash university And um, my parents were very, very sad since the very beginning that what I should be doing is working and studying business. So uh, that there was truly a no-no. Like for me, if at 18, I had said, I want to do fashion, they, they just had mm. been like, they were like, okay, you can do fashion, but you can do it once you kind of like completed business, basically. Right. Um, so that was kind of like the condition that they put me uh, I knew I wanted to work in fashion since I was probably four. Like, Aww. I don't know if I ever told you this. <laughs> I don't I think a, so. I but had a I, fixation on fashion since I am so little. Like, you know, those Disney so books cute. that you had? Like, I would yeah. cut, like, the princess's dresses because I was so oh. fascinated. Okay, I think you told me that. That's so yeah. cute. That's like, so cute. Like, I was cute. so fascinated with costume and the beauty of, you know, like, clothes and how much it just, like, you know, tells a lot about your identity and stuff. And I feel oh, like I fell, yeah. in love. Self I fell in love with fashion even yeah. before I even had an identity. And I feel like I kept preaching Uh, during high school and during like you know growing up like fashion is what I want to do I want to work in fashion I want to work in fashion I want to work in fashion and I said it so many times it's not even funny yeah. and <laughs> uh, even in when so in the end I ended up doing what my parents wanted me to do which was to go to business school and yeah I did four years of bachelor and then I did a master's in marketing. So marketing was always kind of like where I wanted to go. Yeah. And it wasn't until the very end of uh, my, my master's that I felt like this is enough. Like I cannot, like mm. I, I tried belonging yeah. with these people. I do not feel like I belong with these people. We yeah. have different dreams, different ambitions, different everything. And yeah. so I, I just want to be, I just want to do fashion. So yeah, I also like started screaming your name. I know I was, and I was also out of a very, very hard breakup. And that's when I started Persian Brunette, which is my blog and my Instagram and everything. And honestly, I had blogged before and it was called something completely different, <laughs> but I left it yeah. like it didn't go away with like school. Yeah. Like it didn't go together. Like I couldn't keep up. So, um, so yeah, I started Persian Brunette and from now there on it, it was like, now I'm only doing things for me and not for my parents or for what people expect from me. So I moved to Canada because I had done my exchange there Yeah, <laughs> and I crazy. went to Toronto film school, which is where I met <laughs> Michaela. And yeah, it's just like, when you so think about that, insane. It's insane. What an insane story. I know it's 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 a little because you you did your exchange um like in Kingston right I did I did my exchange in Queen's University and yeah I yeah. fell in love with Canada I just loved it I just loved wow. the freedom of expression I loved the freedom of being whatever you want to do yeah. and want to want to be and I loved it and it was addicting and when I came back I had the biggest depression I was like how do I go back to living in a very conservative, very mm. uh, normative kind of like society mm -hmm. where you have mm -hmm. to do everything that's like on the path in other I words. See. I see. And so, yeah, yeah, I started, I was at TFS and then I continued blogging. Um, I loved it. I continued writing and then I, Decided I didn't want to do fashion anymore. I ended up working in tech. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so oh my uh, god. Oh my god. I That's just, so funny. It just I feel like I got burnt out because of Instagram and blogging and you know how 
the essence of what I loved so much, I was not doing it because I loved it so much anymore. And yeah. I just felt like there was something new to learn for me. And I'm always like, yeah. lo like looking for new things to learn. So I moved to working in marketing, digital marketing for a tech startup. And um, it's been amazing. And I've learned so much and I've become like a completely different person because of that. Yeah. And ever, yeah. ever since you started working there, completely different. I've it's seen so many different. change in neg and for I the positive. Not yeah. to say that there was like a bunch of things wrong, but like <laughs> <laughs> I've seen, I've seen so much growth. I've seen yeah. so, so many things that you're able to take on so like fearlessly now. And, yeah. and just to be able to like, even the organization thing, like mm. I, like I've seen like, cause I've worked with you in school on project and, yeah. you know, working with you then versus even working with you now. Wow. Okay. Like you See, have thank it you to together. my boss. You if have she's it listening, together. She'll be happy because that's all her doing. My boss is a hyper organized tourist. <laughs> so yeah. So it's, it's very, um, it's, it's, I've learned a lot through that and, um, I'm definitely grateful for it. And now I'm I kind can, of getting yeah. the itch to coming back to writing, creating content and yeah, if, okay, if you haven't already, you need to read clearing your what? R claiming my throne. Coming oh, claiming your throne. throne. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. Okay, guys, I just have to do a quick shout out though. Like if you haven't read um, Neg's writing before, you, you need to go read it because mm. she, she is a very, a very talented writer. And you know, I like there's a, there's a post you just wrote um mm -hmm. that just came out and you know she had taken i guess a little bit of a break on writing for a I while did, yeah but she's back and i'm so happy i'm so proud so you know go check it out go check out her blog it's persian yeah Brunette. persian and, uh, that's yeah, right and so you can go check that out yeah i think that it kind of ties yeah. in um to my hobbies actually 100%. which was next part like writing has always been such a huge part of my life and yeah you know I didn't feel I had a like a talent for it until I just started doing it out of j just do it you know what I mean yeah and yeah, um yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm into writing I'm into journaling a lot I'm into bullet journaling big time um <laughs> I'm into I know Fearless you Swift. make the most oh my gosh yes Taylor Swift. <laughs> She's an even bigger Taylor Swift fan than I am. And I grew up oh, singing yeah. Taylor songs in oh, talent yeah. shows. And yeah, she's yeah, a bigger yeah. fan than I am. Way I, bigger. I know. I listen but to I Taylor love Swift it. It's so great. Taylor day. Swift is great, so I can't complain. It's uh, I have to say I'm grateful that I'm capable of thinking talking about Taylor Swift as much as I do with you. Because you're the only person that takes as much Taylor Swift content from me. You know what I mean? My mom is just yeah, like, Yeah, of course. Stop. <laughs> She's like, Stop. We get it. You like Taylor Swift. You know what I mean? So um, I'm really grateful for you because you're the only friend who I can Aww. talk about Taylor Swift as much as I want to. Um, yeah, anytime. Yeah. Anytime. And like, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. So I, I will. Are. I will chat it up. Definitely. Yeah, um, which also comes back to I'm a fan of hers because of her writing, and I relate to her so much because of that. Her right? writing is her so writing good. is amazing, and it, she yeah. just shows that she cannot process stuff without writing, which yeah. is exactly me. You know. Yeah. So yeah, writing Taylor Swift, Star Wars. I'm a huge. I'm you know, Mick is the girly girl, and I'm definitely the more tomboyish. Uh, get along with boys more than girls, uh, <laughs> blunt, uh, kind of like, you know, very... Uh, yeah, fiery yeah. to the point, like, you, Nick says it like it is, definitely. Yeah. And the tomboy stuff, for sure. Because like she said, you know, the whole Star Wars, Harry Potter, like all of oh, those yeah, Harry kinds Potter. of things that you're into. Like, this yeah. is stuff that I grew up... I grew up with a brother, a younger brother. And like, this is stuff that he was into. So it's like, you know, it's it's... It's very similar to that. You've got that that tom tomboy thing for sure. But it's I have that tomboy honestly, thing going on. Yeah, yeah, honestly, it's so cool though. The mix of everything, like the bullet journaling, the writing, Taylor Swift. Yeah, it's like you got a whole <laughs> you got a whole mix of stuff going on there. Yeah.